Songs about Texas almost always make me thirsty. Kick, snare, hi hat. Kick, snare, hi hat. Oh, I walk with what at a turntable. Kick, snare, hi hat. Oh, I walk with turntable. Bass. We don't have a government who's willing to support our artists. It is now our duty. Artists have never made a living. In the entirety of human history, artists have never made a living. Michelangelo didn't make a living, he had patrons. They work very hard, um, hands-on, directly with all the artists and the musicians, and they make sure their videos get played and that the interviews happen. And, and all my experience with them has been exactly what they said it would be. I remember Stick People had a local following, and, and some of the early stuff we did was on the network. And we had like, we'd have like 100 people at our shows and stuff like that. But it, it gives exposure to bands that would probably never get it and mm -hmm. probably not get a gig in town because they won't be seen, you know. So, yeah, it's a great thing. You know, you know, Beto and the headset and all that. Get you a new mic, dude. You know, like, they can't afford it. I know. Okay, they didn't know the council did vote 7 0 to, to give the uh, Channel 15 to the Austin Music Partners. Now, let me make you understand. That doesn't mean they've given the Austin Music Network to them. The Austin Music Network and Channel 15 are two separate situations. So Channel 15 now is uh, under contract to the Austin Music Partners, and I believe they have 120 days or something like that to, um, to get on the air for their financing, all that kind of good stuff. And then they expect to launch, from what I understand, by early February. So again, we wish them all the success in the world and the best of luck on that. And the point is, is it's about changing the institution, gearing the services that we've paid for up here, uh, not just with our cable bills, but also our yearly fees, taking those services and putting it into some grant-driven machine uh, that is then privately profiting board members. You know, we're not just going to challenge this if this continues on uh, the issue of free speech. Uh, they can get all the free speech lawyers they want. We can prove our case there. Uh, we have the bylaws. We have the, we have the contract. We have it all. We're going to challenge it on conflict of interest. We're going to challenge it on the fact that they've taken people's money under the pretext of allowing them to have free speech. That's why they finally backed off here for the next few months. Uh, we're going to challenge it uh, with the, the, uh, the Texas Nonprofit Corporation Act and the Federal Nonprofit Corporation Act. It's all been looked at. The battle plans are all laid. It's a fight we're going to win one way or another. Yes. Woman. But you're, it's not fair. It's not my turn yet. It's a duet. All I need is you. Something I can't do. Thanks for watching. Amen. <laughs> one of my favorite bands and I think this video shows the spirit in which Austin music grows 
and and the way that the way that music should be played and the and the great time that people should have enjoying music and sharing music and go out and start your own band start your own TV station start your own webcast and just do it so that's all I can say big boys fun 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 there's not a thing we can do about it except savor the fact that we did it that no one else in the world did it except for Austin and I don't see anybody else in the world doing it anytime soon so again another place where Austin has has led the path in the combination of music and technology to create a one-of-a-kind project that that we will still talk fondly of and speak fondly of I'm sure years to years to come when we're at Paul's grandkids wedding over there and we'll we'll still reminisce about it so all right we've got 10 seconds goodbye Austin let's count us out here to the five minute mark 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 we love you Austin, Bye, Austin. Thank you, Austin. The baby's a baby. I love you. Joel. I <laughs> How do you get in there? Two is better than death number five, <laughs> but you know, how many times can you give the same ending speech? 
at some point. Yeah, I feel like we prepared for this for longer than we prepared for anything. I didn't see it coming, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I'm totally floored. Dude. Wow. The city had our back, man. <laughs> really? I thought John Stevens was looking out for us. I feel us. let down. say that Barton Springs is the soul of the city and it's true that the abundant water here the lakes and the springs Barton Springs in particular uh, is part of the soul of the city but so is the music and you put those two things together and you got a very special place and that's what Austin has been for uh, all these years at least the 30 years that I've been around here and the musicians uh, used to be uh, revered I think and, and held in, in special regard by the citizens and that's what uh, we tried to do when I was on the city council is to elevate the musicians and and make people realize and make the city staff realize that these aren't just some kids in a garage band uh, having fun these are people who've been making music for 30 years 40 years their whole lives this is a legitimate career choice in Austin it's like being a policeman or a fireman or a school teacher or a city manager it's what people choose to do with their lives
Texas.com.